boys and girls, it's Miss Beth, and it is story time day. Boop, boop. Can you do that with me? Boop, boop. I know it's a day you're excited for because it's always a day that I'm excited for. All right, today we are going to read a nonfiction guessing story. We haven't done a guessing story in a while, so I want you to put your thinking caps on because we're going to be guessing what animal you think this is. All right, it's called Guess What? Bright and Beautiful. I think you're gonna get this one. Today we're gonna read two stories also. I'm gonna read one and then I'm gonna read another one and the next one's a little bit harder, but I think you're gonna get this one. All right, guess what? Bright and Beautiful. The author is Felicia Macheski and the publisher is Cherry Lake Publishing. All right. My big eyes see colors you can't see. Wow. Now that is oversized. These eyes are not really that big in real life. All right. My curly tongue works like a drinking straw. There's the tongue. Again, that's an oversized picture. Their tongues are not that big. All right. I come in many colors and patterns. Hmm. Are you starting to get a guess? I'm starting to get a guess. All right. I fly very well on my Thin wings. Do you have a guess? Shout it to me. Tell me. What do you think? Oh, you may be right. You may be right. All right. If you need more clues, we have a couple more. I love to visit flowers. Look at those pretty flowers. What color is that flower? Very good, that's pink. And what about this flower back here? White, very good. And oh, here's another one. What color is this flower? Yellow, awesome job, woohoo! All right. I taste with my feet. Interesting. When I am young, I eat and eat. What is this? This is called a caterpillar. Oh, that's a big clue. Do you know it? Did you figure it out? Do you know what animal we're talking about? Or insect, what we're talking about? All right. Then I turn into a pupa for a while. Do you know what I am? Sometimes this is called a chrysalis. Do you know what I am? If you know it, shout it. Shout it. Oh, I think you're right. I'm a butterfly. Woo! Did you get that? Did you guess that? I guessed that one. I got that one right. All right, awesome. All right, we're gonna go into our next one. This, whoops, this one is a little bit harder, okay? You may not know exactly what this animal is, but you're gonna learn what this animal is. So that's always a good thing. To learn is always, always good. It expands your brain and your knowledge, and that is good. And Miss Beth loves when you do that. All right, this is called My Mane is Short and Spiky, What Am I? This was written by Jessica Rudolph. And the publisher is Bearport Publishing, New York, New York. All right. What my mane is short and spiky. Here's the mane, okay? And it's their hair. <gasps> this is a puzzle one. What am I? Look at my ears. They are big and round. Big and round. They 
there's your first clue. Okay. My fur is thick. It has dark spots. See the spots? All these spots are all over the fur. Hmm. I have four legs. They are very strong. One, two, three, four. The bottoms of my paws are rough, kind of scratchy, so rough. Hmm, do you have a guess on what you think this might be? Tell me, ooh, you may be right. Like I said, this is a little bit of a tough one. My tail is black, it is bushy too. So spotted skin, but a black tail, interesting. Or spotted fur rather, not skin, fur and a black tail. Hmm. I have big teeth. They are white and sharp. <laughs> Yikes, look at those teeth. Wow. They are white though, very nice. All right, my mane is short and spiky, just like the cover said. What am I? Hmm, let's find out. Do you have one guess before you see most of its body here? Do you have a guess what you think? Shout it to me. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right, but this one is tricky. All right, I am a spotted hyena. Have you ever heard of a hyena? This is what a hyena looks like. All right, you may have seen a, a character in The Lion King of a hyena, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna read you a couple facts on a hyena. Spotted hyenas may look like dogs, but they are more closely related to cats. Like almost all mammals, hyenas give birth to live young that drink milk. Hyenas like insects, birds, lizards, snakes, wild beasts, wildebeests, wildebeests, Miss Beth will get that right, wildebeests, and antelopes. They are up to six feet long, including their tails, so they're pretty big. They weigh up to 190 pounds. They live almost 25 years. That is a long time in the wild. A cool fact is hyenas live in large groups and make many sounds to communicate. One noise they make sounds like a human laughing. That's cool. That's cool. And where do they live? Spotted hyenas live in grassy areas in Africa and here is what Africa looks like. So here is the hyena with a little baby. This is a hyena. And again, you might have seen the cartoon character in um, um, Oh my gosh, Lion King. Oh, I forgot what I had said. All right, that is it. You did amazing. Give yourselves a big clap, a round of applause like this, and a big pat on the back for a job well done. I am Miss Beth, and I hope that you learned something today. And I also hope, as I always hope, that you have an absolutely fantastical day. And I will see you next time.